up, what's happening guys and girls? Welcome back to the channel. I have behind me an RSQ3 from Audi. Now we had the RS6 on the channel and then this turns up. There are so many reasons why I love this car, but before I tell you all about that, today's video is very kindly sponsored by the Stereo app. So this video is brought to you by the Stereo app and it is a premier live social broadcasting platform which enables you to have real conversations in real time. Now if you've been watching my Instagram recently you'll see that I have done a couple of shows on Stereo. First of all I did one with James Dean and then I did a second one the other day with Mr Chris Harris himself. After he calls all that commotion on Twitter I felt like I had to get him on the show and actually ask him what he's been talking about. Because I'm going to put it out there right? One thing I have been thinking for a long time. To me, <clears throat> you are the you are the the seminal influencer. There's a phrase for you. It's like yeah. you were the first person to go out there. And you kind of did all of this stuff before we did. You were the one buying, you know, the Lamborghini when you were younger, and you know it got you noticed. Like you were the one making the Chris Harris on cars videos. You you were the one that we all looked at and took the DNA of. And that's what makes uh, some of our videos today. I can't speak for all of us. I'm just saying from my own point of view. This is my own point of view, by the way, guys. Can I just stop? I need to stop you there for a minute. First of all, never ever <laughs> on a podcast use the word seminal and DNA in the same in the same paragraph. Because that, was... that, that way, trouble lies, young Rebecca. No, I... You can listen to that now on the Stereo app. It's all there for you. You can catch up on shows that I've already done. But I've actually got a show coming up on Sunday where I will be chatting to Mr. Tom TGE himself. Again, as usual, it's Tom. So, you know, it could be anything coming out of his mouth. The great thing about the app is you can schedule shows so you can keep up to date with things that are coming up. I'll be scheduling my show for Sunday. That's a brilliant thing. Also, you guys can get involved because there is the option for you to send in your questions and then they will be played in real time during the conversations now you can moderate them or we can go unmoderated which is what's going to happen with the show on sunday at 4 p.m and it's going to be a question free for all i'm actually kind of scared but i'm sure we'll have a good laugh so as i said all the information will be in the description below make sure you check it out i'm looking forward to seeing you all there at sunday at 4 p.m check it out The RSQ3 finished here in Kalami Green. Wow, what a colour. Now, you know how much I love obnoxious coloured cars. I always say this, but this colour really, really pops. I absolutely love it. And seriously, it turns so many heads wherever you go. Now, first of all, I've been looking at SUVs for quite a while because I've been thinking, you know, I've had the sports saloon and now I really would like a little bit more space. And SUVs on the whole tend to be big, wafty, really heavy on fuel and just really not that fast boom here we have this i absolutely love it guys i mean first of all you have this really really aggressive front end on it you've got lots of rs dna and styling here you can see obviously the blacked out honeycomb grill all the blacked out badges here the laser lights that you get with rs oh my god i just love the way this thing looks for an suv it still looks really really aggressive not too big and as I said before, they just have this really cumbersome sort of look to them. Whereas this, this is the Sportback version. And you can see that profile there as it comes down the sloping roof. Absolutely love it. Now, there's been a lot of comparisons online calling this thing the baby Urus. And to be honest, when you're looking at it from this angle, I can really see what they're talking about. This car is finished with the 21 inch wheels on there. You can see so much design language being pulled from that car. I mean, just look at the lines. It's got really, really aggressive styling. I love the way the wheels sit into the arches. And you know, normally on SUVs, you get this horrible sort of uh, black plastic uh, guards there. But no, everything is body colored 
coming round to the rear. I'm trying to shield from the wind as much as I can because there's so much uh, wind noise coming into my camera here. So I apologize if anything does come through. You can see here the outside of the haunches is really, really squat at the back. And you've got the oval RS tailpipes here. Um, all the blacked out badges. I just really, really enjoy the way this car looks. It still looks really mean, even though it is a compact SUV. I like here as well, you've got all of the little accents. You've got the gloss black here. You can see it on the little um, spoiler here as well. I just think it's a really good looking car. And the little privacy glass. I'm just really impressed how they've managed to take all of the DNA of a sports car, but then sort of scrunch it and put it into an SUV package. What's not to love guys? If you're looking for something which is really practical but is also fast, I feel like this ticks all of the boxes. And the great thing about this is, this car is just over 50,000 pounds as opposed to the RS6. I mean, I know that's an Avant and it's a different type of vehicle, but that was 112,000 pounds rolling on the road. This is just over 50,000 pounds. I think it's great, great value for money and one of the best value propositions for an SUV on the market right now. I know there'll be a few of you that don't agree with me there, but you can get in the comments and tell me all about that anyway. It's like it's pulled all of my favorite things from the RS6 and put it into this vehicle. So as you can see, as we're coming in here, we've got loads of Nappa leather, really nice materials. You've got Alcantara here as well. You've got the honeycomb on the seats, lovely big comfortable RS seats. And then as you come in, you can see here, we have the same digital dash display as the RS6 and the flat bottom perforated leather wheel. It's very, very comfortable. And we have the RS button on the steering wheel here as well. You know what I was talking about in the RS6, the screens and how they get really, really covered in fingerprints, as you can see in front of me. I haven't actually got my trusty microfiber here today, so I'm letting myself down. But I was talking about how when this whole console was just screens, it was quite distracting. And also there was just too much going on and I wanted the feel of buttons back. Well, in this car, it does exactly that. You have all of the MMI system, the brand new um, Audi system there, which has got the Apple CarPlay, which is also wireless, which is ingenious in my eyes. But then you have ergonomic little buttons back. So all your climate control is really easy and you know exactly where you're going with it. And we have back here, just your drive select, which is a button again, and also your traction control, your automatic stop start. So all of the things that you really need are just in button form. Now I'm a big believer in that. I like the resurgence of a gear knob as well. Like this is really good. The gear stick, I enjoy that as well because you can knock it into manual. Uh, it is the S-Tronic seven speed gearbox. And do you know, sometimes I just think it's nice to be able to drive the car like uh, you would with a sequential gearbox. So you can knock it into manual and you can just knock it up and down the gears. That's a personal preference, that's something that I like doing. On the whole, I've been really impressed with this car, but I think the one thing that really makes it come alive and shows the difference between its competitors on the market is how it drives. We know it's spacious, we know that it's comfortable and it's got all of the latest tech, but the way it drives gives it such a character that I haven't seen in an SUV before. Let's go. Band 
of power for me. Once you start going into the 500s and the 600s, you're starting to get to a point where it's like, oh, you start to worry a little bit about losing your license and things like that. And I know I talk about it a lot, but it's just so easy these days. I've noticed being back up in Warwickshire, there is a serious, serious amount of unmarked cars uh, about. And do you know what? We all love uh, driving, so keeping our driving license is fairly high up there on the list of things to do. And that's the thing about this, like you can take it out and have a bit of a jolly, a jolly drive in it, but you're not doing mental speeds. And it's fun. This car is fun to drive. The Quattro system is brilliant as always, like it's really responsive in the corners. I mean, if you're going really fast then you are going to understeer, but at that point you're fighting physics as opposed to fighting the German engineers. It does have great straight line speed, so do you know if you just wanted to, I don't know, get someone off the lights or just do a really handy overtake, drop it down a few gears. Listen to that! And it really does make me smile, and that's the main thing. When you're driving something, it should make you smile. Now imagine if you had that, couple it with a really useful vehicle, i.e. compact SUV, and you have the RSQ3. Joe Achilles made a video saying that he thought it was confused. I don't think it is. I think it's a real perfect hybrid for people who are like me. They've got a sports car of some type and then they need something a little bit more practical, but they don't want to go the whole way and buy into a big wafter like a Range Rover or the QA or an E-Pace, something like that. This is perfect. Still have fun in it. Still is really, you know, great to look at. It's got amazing RS design language all over the place and it's practical. And it's less than half price of the RS6. Now I know it's very difficult to compare the two cars because one's in a van and also an SUV, but because I've had them back to back, it's really brought it home to me how this car has everything that I would have wanted out of the RS6 and the practicality and still a, a bit stylish. Well, I think so anyway. I love the lines of this thing. I feel like if you had an Urus, you'd be pretty pissed off really because you've got a car which is essentially a quarter of the price and it kind of looks like it. I love the outside lines, the sills, the gloss black bits everywhere, gloss black bits everywhere. I feel like I need one of these. I've been living with it for a week now. I've got it for two weeks. I don't want to give it back. I really, really enjoyed it. I mean, besides the fact that it makes the front of the drive look like Sesame Street with the speed yellow car and the Kalami green RS Key 3, but I think they're the perfect pairing. What a sick little setup having the rear wheel drive uh, saloon car and then this as your everyday sort of hack. I don't know really really enjoying driving this thing so comfortable the seats as well they've got great lumbar support Do you know if you're doing long runs i've been down to london to get some more of my stuff and yeah great really good i feel like i'm not saying anything negative about it i need to say something negative or do i that's the thing i don't know now when you get an suv you start looking at them and you think oh my christ i need serious spatial awareness and beepers and all the rest of it going on because they're massive and when you take them into a domestic car park whether that be underground or whatever you're constantly worrying about where your corners are you don't get that with this you're immediately really aware of all of your corners because it just feels like a normal car just a bit lifted that's it but you're not so high that you're kind of looking down on everything or you're not too low you literally get into the car laterally it's brilliant i honestly can't recommend this car enough i definitely want to get one i just need to <laughs> I need to convince Audi now to let me keep this one for the next, you know, six or 12 months. See what he's saying. What do you think, Audi? No. <laughs> guys that is the rsq3 don't be surprised if you see one of these heading to the channel super super soon i love this thing i think i've said it enough times this video other than that let me know what you think in the comments i just want to say at the end of this video a big big thank you to all of you that got me to 100k i could not do this without you other than that take care of yourself stay safe and i'll see you again soon bye a big thank you to Stereo for sponsoring this video. I'm really looking forward to Sunday at 4 p.m. where I'm going to be going live with Mr. Tom TGE. Make sure you click the link in the description below, which means you can download the Stereo app and be there at 4 to catch all the action. I'll see you guys there.